Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. I wanted to read a quote about the King James Version of the Bible from Winston Churchill. And in this, he says that the King James Version of the Bible has been translated into 760 tongues itself. Now, let's look at this. This is from the History of the English-Speaking Peoples, Volume 2, The New World, 1959, Dodd Mead Company, pages 153 and 154. Okay, and so so here's the quote. It says, if the adventurers took books with them, they took the Bible, Shakespeare, and later the Pilgrim's Progress. And the Bible they mostly took was the authorized version of King James 1. About 90 million complete copies are thought to have been published in the English language alone. It has been translated into more than 760 tongues. The authorized version is still the most popular in English and in the United States. Now, in this particular uh, paper that I'm reading, it's by missionary Calvin George, revised April 11, 2009. He's got all types of claims, like Bill Grady said, translated into 300 languages. Uh, Mickey Carter says many foreign nations have the Bible in their own language, and many of these are translations made directly from the King James Version. An internet article by Tim Morton says uh, foreign, the KJV has been translated directly into foreign language a thousand times in parts of it, 1,578 languages. Uh, ben Wilkinson in Which Bible by David Otis Fuller. It's mentioned that one name writer claimed the KJV had been translated into 886 languages. In his book 75 Problems, Lloyd Streeter uh, states that the KJV has been translated into other languages between 600 and 700 times. Um, Gail Ripplinger in All of Thy Words says because the KJV is a precise and contextual accurate translation, thousands of foreign language translations were subsequently made directly for it. And, uh, you know, they, and then he goes into like Adoniram Judson making a translation from it. And then looking at the British and Foreign Bible Society's website and the languages that they had translated from and uh, what used the King James. Now he says that he only found four or five that came directly from the King James, but many, many had the King James as a source. So what would happen, I mean, let's say that you're in India and maybe you're not a Greek or a Hebrew scholar, and but you've got the Bible with you. And for the most part, well, during the great missionary adventures through the 18th, 19th, and the to the middle of the 20th century, the only English Bible the English missionaries would have would be the King James Version of the Bible. And so and this was be, you know, before Wycliffe and all this really got uh, going. And so then they would just translate it from the King James Version of the Bible. And some people say that Winston Churchill wasn't really talking about uh, the King James or the Authorized Version when he said the 760 languages. But most people that I've read, even very anti-King James people, do acknowledge, say, well, in context, it does seem like he was talking about the King James Version of the Bible. So I was glad I came across this because somebody had asked me uh, a few months ago, I had made a comment, I think it was 900 translations, and I got that I think from Pete Ruckman. A foreign language translation been made directly from the King James Version of the Bible. And uh, so when I ran across this Churchill quote, I thought, well, I'll just do a video and share that. So that seems to be the genesis of it. Uh, maybe just uh, a few use the King James exclusively, but several hundred, maybe into the thousands, consulted the King James, and maybe sometimes that consultation wasn't one of three or four, but the major consultation with just a few things consulted as well. So God bless. Love you. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.